Shaniqua Martin Green and Wilson Cruz have traveled through time and space on the series Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> and they're about to embark on the final season of their journey. Please welcome Shaniqua Martin Green and Wilson Cruz. <laughs> Yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much for us. being here. Oh. Now, uh, Sonequa, season five will be the last season of yes. Star Trek uh, Discovery. You and Wilson and the rest of the cast have been like a family for mm -hmm. the last seven years of your yes. life. So how do you feel about it all coming to an end? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I'm so happy to be back. Hey, y'all. Yes. Hey, hey y'all. I love y'all so much. <laughs> Oh man, here we are. It's it feels I I've been saying these three words a lot. There's there's this sense of uh, ownership and achievement and gratitude because mm. we've had a lot of time to process it. Right? It's been a while uh, yeah. since mm -hmm. we shot it and. Man, we're just so proud of everybody. And, you know, we are just two of the, of the members That's of right. this crew. There's, there are many of us. There's Anthony Rapp. Yes. There's Blue Del Barrio. There's Mary Weissman yep. and David Ajala and Doug Jones. I mean, yeah. they are our family. And, you know, I have to say, we talk a lot about being a family on this show, but that was modeled for, a, for us from the top. You know, uh -huh. this woman, yeah. our number one, our yeah. captain, has really set a bar so high for us. Yeah. And she... It required us to meet her at that high level, and it's really changed our lives. And we've been through a lot in these last seven years. We've been through a pandemic. We've, yes. you know, some of us have lost family, and we've people have given birth. You know, so yeah. a lot has happened in those seven years, and we've been there with each other through it all. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm gonna make me cry. This one oh, right true. here. I know. Well, it's you both. Right here. Yeah. yeah. You both are incredible, and just what an excellent cast. And Wilson, I know you grew up a Trekkie. You watched uh, Star <laughs> yeah. Trek: The Next Generation. I which, did. of course, the fabulous Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg was on. Yeah. Now, <laughs> what, right. what was it like to be part of this project, having been such a fan? And I, I heard that you had to be sedated when you met Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I, I did. I did. Um, it's true. He walked Most into, uh, he walked he into a convention, yeah. Yeah. and he shook my hand and said hello to me, and I literally lost my mind. <laughs> and Anthony Rapp was on the other side of the room, and I think I... <laughs> Yeah. Right By the way, it took everything I had not to respond that way this morning to you. <laughs> uh, because, you know, so much of my character was, you know, he, he becomes the counselor in, in season three, season four. Mm -hmm. um, and so much of what inspired me was the way that you handled Guinan. Ah. You know, this very laid back, um, welcoming presence. Yeah. And I wanted his counseling sessions to have that same feel. So I'm grateful to you for the inspiration. Oh, Trina. thanks. Uh, well, I, you know, I thank Nichelle. Yes, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it all starts. You, you talk about the, the time. Yes, yeah. yes. Right. Pass, yeah. 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 Amazing, amazing. It's been an incredible experience to play this character, to be this person, to have this epic journey, and I'm I'm just grateful to have been a part of it. It's changed my life. Truly. And it will stay with you forever. It's not, you know. Oh yeah, you you're not think, getting rid of me. No, yet. you're not getting rid. Of, no, you don't get rid of each other. You think, oh, I'm never going to see these folks again, and then there they are. Right. Yes. Yes. Well, kind of like Stewart. us, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in a funny kind of way. We, we, we do behave terribly when Sir Patrick Stewart. Are you behave? Oh, I, well, I don't. His wife's right. name is Sunny, and so I yeah. have a thing. That doesn't mean oh. that he wants the Sunny. And he has a yeah. thing for me. Too. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Anyway, no, he Whoopi's, likes you. Whoopi's bursting right. my bubble, but it's okay. Let's move on. Okay. What I do love about this cast in particular is the diversity because it's mm -hmm. like it shows us the world as it should be, even in outer space, right? So I, I love that about it. Um, you've had many fans of the show come up to you, my understanding is, uh, to both of you, to tell you how it's impacted them. Yeah. And Sonequa, there was one man in particular that you say you won't forget. Yeah, and, and there are so many encounters that I'll never forget, from bringing families together to now I know how to have a voice at work to I was going to take my life mm. and decided not to. Mm. Um, but the one that always rises to the top, this British man came up to me, uh, I think it was during season two, and he said, um, I, I do his accent, but I don't, I don't want to do it because I don't want to. <laughs> um, but he, he basically said, I watched uh, season one and I 
saw myself in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, I was able to see the world through your eyes yes. and I related to you so much, even though you couldn't be more different than me. And by the end of the season, he was like, I understood that's what it means to step into someone else and see yourself in them. And now I know how to stop the cycle of racism mm. in my family. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Legit. Wow. And I, I started crying, and he was like, oh, I didn't mean to make you cry. And I was like, well, how could I? And I know, I know, I had to come out. I was like, but how could I? Yeah, how could I not? Because... This is what Roddenberry's visual yes. for the world was yes. when he did it in 62. Yes. He, yes. Wanted, he wanted people to understand yeah. that as different as we all are, we are all the same. Oh, yes, wow. our MO is yes. infinite yes. diversity. Yes. In infinite combinations. Yes. So, this so is it's what, not new, y'all. Yes. I'm just saying, this it's is... not you. It, it's been there for a while, this idea that we could all meet on this playing field. So stop trying to pretend like this just came out of nowhere. <laughs> yes. right, yeah. People have been trying to do this forever. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Star Trek is what what happens when we allow that long moral arc That's to right. actually yeah. bend towards yeah. justice? Well, right. To me, it's Christ. Yeah. Like. To Let's me, talk. it's actually Christ. Let's talk about yes. your character, Wilson, because uh, you're, you're part of the first gay couple mm -hmm. in Star Trek universe, and we're living in a time when some politicians, I won't mention any names, are trying to take away the rights of LGBTQ plus community. We talked about transgender mm -hmm. today. Um, what's the impact do you think the show like Star Trek has when it comes to equality on this on this subject? Do you think there'll be a homophobe out there who's going to come up to you like they just did with Sonequa? Oh, I think this show uh, really allows people into into our story, right? Mm -hmm. um, I I think <clears throat> art culture allows people to step into shoes that they wouldn't ordinarily be able to step yeah. into and relate to you. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. um, what's disturbing about what's happening politically is that we're using young people, trans young people, trans and non-binary young people as political pawns. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're not an goes. issue. Yes. Trans people are not issues. Trans mm -hmm. people are people mm -hmm. who are just merely trying to live their lives as, as well and as honestly as they possibly can. Right. Mm -hmm. Just this year alone, we've seen more anti-LGBTQ bills than at any other year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And most of them have been directed towards LGBTQ trans and non-binary young people. Yeah. Yeah. What does that say about who we are, right? Mm -hmm. When we can't allow a young person to discover who they are yeah. and support them in that it process. It says that yeah. evil people in power like to have a scapegoat. Yes, that's exactly that right. And, they, and they think it's, a, it's a, a political weapon that works in their favor. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that it's not. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna try and yeah. not let that happen. Listen, as long as there is a Star Trek happening somewhere on the planet, there is, there is the possibility of finding that new world. It is out there, we know it can work, and we love that y'all came today so we could celebrate you. For season five of Star Trek Discovery, it premieres April 4th on Paramount Plus. Ooh. And you can watch a lot of things on Paramount Plus having to do with Star Trek. <laughs> I'm just letting you know.